Hello everyone, Giuliano here. In this video I'm going to show you a new capability available in Microsoft Edge called Microsoft Edge Workspaces. Quite often you share links when you are in a project with your colleagues because you want to just highlight a specific website or a specific content which is relevant for your project. With Microsoft Edge Workspaces you can share in real time your navigation your tabs open, so you don't need to send any kind of link. The user and your colleagues will have the same view that you have in real time. All right, let me show you. Here I have Microsoft Edge open. I have three instances open of Microsoft Edge because I'm personating three different users in the same organization in order to show you how it works, Microsoft Edge workspaces. Now that I am in the settings, in the search settings, I would like to search workspaces just to show you the settings that you can set up. In this case, I have the first one workspaces. If I click on it, this tell me which is the default workspace for external links. Here I can keep this one last non-shared window default or I can select one workspace that I have already created. The second important option is this one, show workspaces. This turn on or turn off the icon that you can see here in the upper left corner next to the profile picture. This is the new UI that you are going to see in the future in Microsoft Edge. All right. It's time to create a first workspace. To do that, as Giuliano, I'm going to click on this icon and then I'm going to create a new workspace. Let's click on the plus icon and here let me add something. All right, I added Solar Panel X marketing campaign. So I want to share everything related with marketing about this product. Then I have to select a color here and then let's click on done. This will open on the same instance another window with this workspace open welcome to workspaces. Here I can start to invite people to this workspace. You can see this option in the upper right corner. Let's click on this one and let's start to invite collaborators. To do that, I can click on this icon and then I can use Outlook, Gmail, or I can just share this link with other. I can add the email to myself, for example, or let me copy this, uh, this URL. And now what I'm going to do is going back on the first instance, I'm going to open Microsoft Teams. Let's click on the chat and then I'm going to send this link to my colleagues Adele, Diego and Nestor. Let's paste this URL and let's send this. Now the other user can open this URL. Let me go with in this other instance. I am now impersonating Adele Vance, as you can see. Let me open now this workspace. I'm going to paste this URL and then I'm going to press return. All right, now I have opened this workspace, welcome to workspace, solar panel marketing campaign as Adele events. I'm going to do the same with Diego Siciliani. Let me open a new tab. In this case, I'm impersonating Diego Siciliani. This open another window and now Diego is also connected. Let's go on Adele Events view and what I can do here with Adele Events clicking on this workspace Solar Panel X I can edit the workspace I can invite additional users to this workspace and then I can leave this workspace these are the current option clicking on the three dots you have additional information about this new capability I can create of course new workspaces and I can see Another one where I am invited and involved, which is called Marketing Project X Campaign. All right, now that I have this workspace open, I can start to search something. Let's say get started with marketing campaign. Maybe I want to have a look to useful tools to start a marketing campaign. 
All right, now I open this uh, URL, this web page. I can close the first one. And the interesting thing here is that if I go changing perspective as Giuliano now, I can see that now a new tab has been created by Adele Events. We have the same view and I can see in the first tab I have now what Adele Events has created. If I go over this tab, I can see that Adele Events is currently on this tab. And this is very, very cool. Now as Giuliano, I'm going to create a new tab. So let me, let me search something here. So I'm searching right now best practices to launch a marketing campaign. Here I have some link. Let me go on just one and let's see, let's click on this one. I have now another tab open. I can keep the, the first one also open and changing now perspective. Let me go on the view of Adele Events. I can see that Giuliano has created this two additional tab. I have this one and then I have the best, the search related to the best practices to launch a marketing campaign. I am in now as Diego Siciliani and I can see all tabs open and created previously by my colleagues. Now, if I move on the right, I can see the users that are currently connected in the workspace. I can see Adele Vance and Giuliano De Luca. I can forward this workspace and invite additional users if I want. Now, the important thing to know is that if I open another browser instance using another user, for example, let's say Nestor Wilkie, I can see that this icon of workspaces, it's not visible and available. To turn this on, you have to log in. You have to click here on the drop down, add the new account, sign in to sync data, and now you have to log in with your organization account. I am now logging into Microsoft Edge using the user Nestor Wilkie. I can click on next, on done, and now I should see a new icon showing up and here we go. Now I have a workspaces available. I can start as always to create my workspace or I can add the link that I have seen before. If I click and add this URL, now Nestor Wilkie is also in this workspace. I have to confirm the identity again. All right, and now I can see all tabs open and created by my colleagues, Giuliano, Adele, and Diego Siciliani. So we can stay closer together in making searches and we can collaborate in real time on the same and having the same view on everything, projects, marketing, planning, organizing, event, and so on. All right, we have seen Microsoft Edge workspaces in action. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, and add a comment down below. I hope to see you next time. Bye.